Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. So today it is that time again to check my voicemail. Whoa. I already know I'm gonna hate editing that. A couple videos back, I gave out a number and I asked you guys to send me questions or whatever you wanted to know really. And I always get the sweetest voicemails sent to me, especially when I open them while live streaming. You guys want to let you know my penis is bigger than yours and... That was actually a while ago, so I don't really remember. I'm assuming they were all very nice, positive vibes only. So let's see what kind of voicemails you guys left me today. Just saying, you should go to prom with me. We could wear pineapple, dress in suit. Yeah. <laughs> Prom. Now this is a question I feel like I get a lot. Well, not a lot, but I see it. I feel like I see it in my DMs every once in a while. And I didn't even go to my own prom. So when I really think about it and I think about me attending a high school prom, I think it'd be kind of weird, right? Or am I overthinking it? Also, when I see this question, I look at their profile and they live like across the country. So I'm gonna need like, I'm gonna need a first class plane ticket, a five star hotel, stay at, like a Gucci suit for the prom night. If I get all that, maybe I'm down. Next one. Here, when you don't put your uh, toenails on the merch store. I need something better to eat. I want your toenails, Gabe. Okay, well. It's nice to know you guys are staying creative on the ways to creep me out. Maybe this can be my new thing. I already sold my CU socks, so my toenails would no doubt sell. I have people calling for it. I wasn't even planning on talking about this, but I guess this guy's question led me to it. But from that video where I actually sold my used socks, I still get messages on eBay from people asking if I'm gonna put up used socks again. Hello, selling any more used socks in the future? Please let me know. Thanks so much. Bruh. Do you really like pineapples that much or did you just like say one time that you liked them and now everyone's like, oh my god, pineapples or what? Also, follow me on Instagram at NEV on the Oh, oh, oh out of time, sorry. The answer to their question, no, 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 that's not it at all. I, my life would be nothing without pineapples and I mean that. Hola, Masico, Gabe Hellman. You my sexy motherfucker. I love you so much. I want to my up ass. But hey, I'm gay. Um, it's I need Alex Ellison. I'm cool as fuck. I love your videos. Your videos are funny as fuck. I want to do a collab with you, really, because you are a cool ass YouTuber. So if you want, like, text me and stuff, my Instagram is three eight six. Okay, well, what? You can't just say something like that, and then. 10 seconds later be like, hey bro, wanna collab? <laughs> if you're looking to collab on a video, that definitely caught my attention, but I don't know if that was like the right approach to it. Uh, what did he say he wanted to do to me in the beginning? <clears throat> okay, since you became certified to marry people, do you think you can marry me and my boyfriend, you know? They want me to marry them, because I can. I became an ordained minister. Do ministers get drafted in like in a world war, or are they, are they safe? It says, ministers enjoy a special exemption from the military draft. Anyway, wait, what was the question? Will I marry those two people? Honestly, I'd probably do it. I'll do my absolute best to not do this. I promise to be your biggest advocate and your best friend. I commit to sharing with you in seasons of abundance. Yo, Gabe, what up? I want you to call this number that I'm about to read to you and just say f you when he answers. This insurance adjuster and he's an asshole and he cut me off in traffic. 302 And if you don't want to do that, I don't like your videos anyway. You didn't need to include that. I, I was maybe gonna do it. It's an insurance adjuster but he also cut him off in traffic. I feel like it's his own number and he just wants me to call him. Imagine if like a granny picks up. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. I love you. Hey, f you, pineapple boy. Pineapple. 
there's too many troll ones. I don't want to have to block your number, but when you do this and leave me stuff like that, I really have no choice. So, what's your favorite letter of the alphabet? My favorite letter is E. A question, finally, we got a question. What did he say? He said the letter E. He, he talks so fast, I feel like he was on E. I would say though, I've always been a big fan of the letter Q. So I'd definitely say Q. Hi, Gabe. Um, how did you tell your family that you made YouTube videos and were you scared to tell them? Okay, bye. <laughs> the way that that's worded, it's like I'm coming out to them. Like, mom, dad, I don't want you to judge me for this, but I'm a YouTuber. I kind of just tried to not think about it that much until they just kind of found out. I didn't tell my dad until I started making money from it. I think it kind of just gets weird because sometimes you don't want your parents watching the videos because you wouldn't necessarily make the same jokes or something that you would if they didn't watch it. But it gets to a point where if you actually want to do YouTube, that can't be a factor or else it's gonna hold you back. Like there's even things that I've done on my channel that I wouldn't necessarily do in front of my parents, but you just kind of have to do it. Gabe, I fucking love you, and I just wanted to say that you're amazing, and you really need to keep up the great work. Alright, love you bro. There's so many messages like that that I know won't make it in the video. Hearing voicemails like this when YouTube gets tough or stressful, uh, these definitely help knowing that there's so many people that are looking forward to my videos. So I appreciate you all back. Let's get to the next one though. Fuck you Gabe, tell me, hope you fucking die. Hey Gabe, I just wanted to tell you that, um, I, I need some advice. What happened is that, uh, my best friend took my girlfriend and she broke over me and all, all I see them is holding hands and like kissing in the hallways. I feel like doing something. What should I do? I don't know. I'm scared. I don't know why I'm laughing. I can't tell that's genuine or not. Did I hear that right? That he said he's gonna do something? Um, don't do something. Uh, that sounds bad. Only thing you should be doing is just moving on because those aren't people you should have in your life. If this was a legit situation, my best friend takes my girl and now they're kissing in the hallway. That's like the worst thing that can happen to you. The only thing you can do is just move on I wouldn't even want to get with that girl anymore. She a hoe. Yo, what's good, kid? Uh, I was wondering if you want to help me fill these holes in my walls for every time I get a little happy. I tend to kick in my sleep. Now I got holes in my walls. You want to come over and patch them up for me, please? Bye bye. What the hell? Okay, I, I've been doing this for like over an hour, listening to voicemails. Did that make any sense? Hey Gabe, I'm planning on joining the National Guard, and I'm wondering, after I'm um, done my service, what can I do? Why would you ask me that? He wants to join the National Guard, but after his service, what should he do? Why, what do I have to do with that? I don't even use my college degree. I just make videos with my cat. What up, cutie? I've been the one uh, coming into your house and uh, giving you those hickeys on your neck, you know what I'm saying? You know? Well, after a while of, you know, kissing you while you're sleeping, I've been getting sick of it. I want to see you awake. You know, call me back, baby, if you want to hang out and see what happens. What, what would your mother think if she knew you said that? You come in my house and give me hickeys on my neck. Hi, um, I, I, I want to ask you, how do you smell in real life? Like, I want a detailed explanation on how you smell in real life. Um, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Gabe. <laughs> and okay, I think that's where I'm going to end this video. Some of y'all need therapy.
Thank you to everyone who took the time to send me a voicemail. Whenever I do these, I legit listen to the majority of the voicemails, I think. If you send me one within the first like two weeks of me giving out the number, I probably listen to it. They just can't all go in the video, obviously. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. It helps me out. And also for a future video, I wanna react to my Instagram DMs. I've already screenshotted a lot over time before I mention it in a video, but I can only scroll down so much. So if you've DM'd me, message me a dot, so it goes back to the top. And then later, I'll obviously react to them. So DM me something you think I should see or read. And with that, I think that's all I wanted to mention. So thank you all for making it to the end of this video. I love you guys, and hopefully, I'll see you next time. I watch, like, like all your videos. Like, it's kind of creepy. But, um, I really like Kitty. And I think, um, Kitty should be in the videos more. But, like, you shouldn't hold her in the videos because she don't like it. But you should, like, put her in the videos and, like, give her a chair. Like, her own chair. Kitty needs her own chair.